Hey guys, Forever Retro 82 here. I hope you're staying safe and being well out there. So we're playing a game I have done on stream. It was one of my first streams I've done. But not many people really know what this game is, basically. It's, I think it's an obscure title. I consider it a hidden gem, because it pretty much is. It's basically Strider on the SNES without the storyline and the character and whatnot. But everything else is pretty much ripped right from Strider. It's called Run Saber, and it's a pretty awesome game. It was made by Hori Electronics, and it was published by Atlas in 1993. Um, many people like this game. Some people don't. They think it's too short, because it kind of is. But, <laughs> um, you know, I sometimes it's like this game, I own the copy. I, I have the cartridge. And it's like, sometimes I'll beat it, and some days I can't. I, I'm going to hope the hell I can do it this time, because... One of the things you can do that I really like is the game gives you a very healthy amount of bombs, right? And you can just spam the shit out of them throughout the game, which I am going to do because I want to get through this title. Anyways, um, yeah, so I did stream this. And a little backstory about the my copy of the game I got. Uh, basically, back in the day, back in, and it was definitely that year that a lot of, this, a lot of uh, my old haters like the year 2000 because that's pretty much what, when this happened. Uh, my friend... I had a friend of mine, we'll just call him Bob, that's not his real name, but uh, we would go to GameStop a lot, uh, and he was working at Kroger, and I just got fired from Subway, and uh, he, oh, you know, he got he had a PS2, and he was, you know, building up his collection, as most gamers do when they get a new piece of hardware, and I would always go through the, you know, the little SNES and Genesis section, just, just look at games, and once in a while, he would come up to me and be like, hey, you want to... He's, like, I'll be looking, like, at a cartridge and seeing, like, the shape it's in and stuff like that. Just, just to look, you know? Because I was bored and I had nothing better to do. And I didn't really care what he was doing because he was looking at PlayStation 2 titles. Not a fan of the platform, even though I own a few games for it. But I still don't have the same love and affection that a lot of you gamers out there do for it. I just hate the Sony brand. I hate the games for it. Most of them, most of them anyways. The vast majority. Anyway, so I'm looking at the SNES. And just, he'll just come up to me once in a while when I'm looking at him. He's like, hey, you want me to buy you something? And I would, you know, obviously I would be like, no, I can't do that. Uh, first of all, I'm broke. <laughs> I, I, I know you want to buy something. You want to be nice, but I don't want you to have to spend money on me. So he'd be like, it's no problem, man. If you, it, He's like, most of these games are under $20, dude. You're no, not breaking skin off my back. So, I, I, you know, I would take his offer, of course. I mean, I think any game retro gamer that was in my skin would. You know, it was nice of him. I mean... I kind of paid him back later on by taking him out to eat the stuff a few times before our friendship ended. But uh, uh, the games I got from him, from him doing that, was Super Double Dragon, Mega Man on the NES, the original Mega Man, this, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, because he was working at Kroger at the time. I helped him get a job there because uh, I knew the manager. I didn't want to work at Kroger because, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's stressful. But I got him a job there, and he was, you know, I guess that was his way of thanking me. <sighs> or something. I don't know. I mean, it was a long time ago, man. 20, 23 fucking years. Jesus. The time just goes away. <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to be playing this. And I hope I can beat it this time. So, here we go. Let me get the game loaded. There we go. Atlas. Yeah, most of you know Atlas from making Persona games. Persona is a weeb game, and I'm not a weeb, so there you go. I hate I don't like it very much. Well, here's a story if you want to care to know what it is. This looks like a Voltron, something to do with Voltron. I like how it's just called Project Saber. No subtlety here, guys. Now, notice that there's three capsules, and there's only two of the subjects in the capsules. And you'll find out why. Okay, so basically, you probably didn't understand the story. Basically, people, there was like, I guess this disease, and they place it upon the earth where all of them becomes mutants and you basically gotta take out the ringleader who has caused this to happen 
it's really the story really isn't anything important it's 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 shit okay i'll be honest it's shit anyways i'm gonna go set some settings okay so basically as i stated before if a game gives you the option to tip crank those lave li lave jesus man lives up it's not cheating and also i want to go ahead and point this out too i know you have easy normal and hard it doesn't matter what level you beat it on you're gonna get the same ending each time and that to me that sucks i honestly think that if you play a game on hard mode you should get some kind of like special message or like a code or something for your trouble like an unlockable i mean not like an unlockable like we had in the sixth generation before companies got greedy and made unlockables dlc like namco with tekken where you, you can't unlock the characters anymore you have to buy them all which i think that's so shit i'm sorry sorry not sorry that's just greed because uh, that was the fun thing about Tekken. You buy a new Tekken, you take it home, and you play it all night, and you unlock all the characters. That was fun. Why can't we have that anymore? Yeah, greed. So anyways, uh, you know, there are some games, though, that give you, like, a, a message. Like Splatterhouse 3. You know, if you be on the uh, expert difficulty or the highest difficulty, it, it gives you a, basically a message saying that, you know, these games are made for, you know, great gamers like you, so rip them up or something like that. Anyways, that's not important. I just thought I'd throw that out there for a little bit of trivia for you. So, I there these two characters, there's uh, the... I mean, they really don't have a name. Like, I don't remember the manual. Because the manual was... when the, I read it when I originally... When, when this game was originally released, which was 1993, uh, by Horror, like, Horror Electronics and published by Atlas. Anyway, um, you had the horizontal... It's kind of like Gunster Hills. You have the dude who slashes horizontal and then you have the chick who slashes vertical i'm a horizontal guy so i'm going with the horizontal guy a lot of people like the chick though play with what you like you know whatever play style fit meets your needs by all means pick whatever you want so this is a game it tells you where to go so you got two bombs there's your lives and you also have continues uh, you have some kind of moves that are nice. You have, let's see, this flip move where you press up and B, that that, that attacks. There's your main attack. You slide. And we'll cast bombs later. And you'll get these, like, little power-ups that just pop out of nowhere. Just grab, like this one. This makes your sword better. And uh, you sound like Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden 3. And I was also just picked up a bomb icon. Yeah, grab those as much as you can. And like I said, when you get in, like, mid-boss fights... Just spam the fuck out of them. It, it'll make for an easy battle. But if you want a real nice challenge, play hard mode. Even though you'll get the same exact ending, which I think is bullshit. But I mean, yeah, you can just tell it's not Strider. Now, Strider, on the other hand, that was released pretty much on every single console known to man. Except for the SNES. I, mean, I, I still think that's unfair. So maybe this company felt the same way. If you hold down while you fall, you can actually hurt enemies with that, too. So you got you got a nice set of moves that really do the job. I just think that's bullshit, though. I mean, the SNES was very capable of running Strider. There's no excuse for that. But whatever. I mean, I don't think it was an exclusive deal with Sega at the time. Because it was released on the TurboGrafx... Uh, uh, TurboGrafx... Uh, in or PC Engine, excuse me. It was an arcade card, but that port wasn't all that good. I remember EGM was basically sucking it off. And then when I finally played it in an emulation years later, I'm like, what is this garbage? It, was, it wasn't it was a very good port. The frame rate was bad, the colors were off. But the list just goes on. Yeah, that's why, you know, it's like back then we, we always trusted magazines to give us the exact source we needed to if, if something was worth our time and it always sucked when their shit was biased because there's a lot of games that i played that they gave high remarks to and they suck shit uh incredible hawk for the snes is a perfect example of that that game is just hot garbage all right here's a mid boss now i got five bombs so we're just gonna spam the fuck out of them after i after i hit them a few times with the regular attack this game is mid boss central there we go. I mean, that's what I like to do in mid-bosses. Because you only get three ticks of health. I mean, that's bullshit. You can add more, obviously. But that's only if you get the, like, the little orb with the cross on it. 
Which barely ever shows up unless you're fucking lucky. That's an extra life, and that's another thing. This game gives extra lives like candy if you know where to look. And here comes another mid-boss. It's filled with them. It's like Contra, uh, Shattered Soldier on the PS2. It's just nothing but boss fights, more or less. I was going to grab that bomb, but I don't think I can now. Oh, I did. Yush! You son of a bitch! Die! Thank you. Now we're about to fight the main boss. Yeah, right after we fight a mid-boss. It's like, okay, enough with the bosses. Now, when I was a kid, I thought this was cool. Yeah, you can run. I forgot to mention that. You can do that by double-tapping. And you just basically, your walk cycle is faster. That's all it is. I thought this was neat as a kid. You get mode 7 goodness here. And you gotta basically bite, fight these faces and things that are on the plane. Now, relax. It's like Strider. You can hang on to shit upside down. So basically, here's the first thing. Another thing here. And then there's this big thing that's going to be popping up soon. I don't know the names of the enemies. I don't give a shit, really. <laughs> ah, here it comes. I mean, this boss is really just easy. Just stand here and just whack him a few times. Or if you just want to get, get it done and over with, just do this. <laughs> And then you're done with the first level. Easy peasy, right? I mean, kind of. I, I mean, I, I, I love the SNES scaling and rotation. I know it's primitive, especially by today's standards. But I just feel it to be, you know, something special. Because it, it, it kind of was. Because the Neo Geo was the only system that could do it, like, to this degree, except it was smoother. I mean, here it's pixelated to shit, but who cares? At least I don't. Many people might. I don't know. Okay, I, I don't. My opinion's not the be all end all. This is my favorite song in the game. So, if that's of any importance to you, I don't know. I don't know why I like about it. It's just nice. It's very melody, melodetic, whatever that word is supposed to be. I've been in the heat all day, guys. I yeah, my commentary is gonna be shit. <laughs> I'll try to make it enjoyable as possible. Yeah, this part down here sucks. I don't like it. We got some spear chuckers. <laughs> These things piss me off. I always try to be extra careful around them. Because I, I always get hit by them. And there's also ones that like throw fire at you. And it's kind of frustrating. They just get on my fucking nerves. I can't stand them. Of course, then we got this shit. Of course. What? What? Why should I think any different? That was definitely a troll power. They're like, you know you want this bitch. Bam! Yeah, we get to climb some mountains. Well, not mountains, but little islands soon. But before that, this game's notable thing is it, stupid mid-bosses. Yeah, like I said, I consider this a hidden gem, though, because there's there may, may be people who have played it, but there's probably people who haven't, and if you haven't, I suggest giving it a try. It's, it's fun. It's just like Strider. Strider had mid-bosses up the ass, too, so... That's, I think that's what this company was trying to do. They're like, oh, SNES didn't get Strider. Well, fuck that. We'll make our own Strider. And then they could see, like I said, they hand them out like candy. So they're like, so fuck it. We're just going to go ahead and give them something that's remotely like Strider. And hopefully it'll do well. I couldn't find the sales figures for this game. So I can't tell you how much it sold. Sometimes it's just as nice as that fucking mash the button as you can jump around. Now there's that guy that got out of his capsule. He's basically your enemy. And that happens very often. Because this guy is a cheap son of a bitch. So I might just spam both of my bombs. and I lost my power up, so that's nice. He has a cool theme, though. It's very catchy. Yeah, 
And it throws Kanai and does fire like rep like Geese's Replicant from from Fatal Fury. You son of a bitch. If I had a powered up sword, your bitch ass would be dead. Of course he doesn't die, he just goes away. Yeah, go away. But he'll be back many times. Like Jason. Friday the thirteenth on the NES. A very flawed game also made by Alice. Hmm. Nah, that's just that'd be too much of a quinky dink. Yeah, I mean come on, how does this not this part especially does not look like Strider in the first stage? I want to know what that kanji says in the background. That is that that can't be Hori, because they're both the same kanji. Hmm. If someone wants to let me know in the comments, I'd appreciate it. Get the fuck off me. These guys are fucking annoying as shit. They're like your kid sister. Hey, brother, let's go play ball. Brother, help me do this. Brother, this. Brother, that. Shut up, bitch. Man, I'm about fucking dead already. Get what the... Dude. Fuck off. Just... Thank you. God. Now, here's where we start climbing. Yep, see? These things are like flamethrower little fuckers. Damn it. I misjudged that. Well, we haven't used a continue yet, so that's all that matters to me. Like I said, I, I love this tune. This screams early SNES goodness. Oh, yeah, all I gotta do is time it and hit your... I mean, these mid-bosses, I don't think... Would, too much creativity were thrown its way, but whatever. I mean, it's, it's it's content. I mean, I can't bitch too much. I mean, like I said, as long as the game is fun, even if it's simple, it's fine. Because that's what games are supposed to be. They're supposed to entertain us. They're not supposed to be just... You know, just... I mean, nowadays it's different, because gamers are fucking retarded, especially Gen Zers. Has to look photorealistic with uh, a billion FPS and all that. Fuck off. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, hypocrite, you got yourself a pretty beefy PC. There's a reason for that. And the reason is, just in case, sometimes there's indies that come out that do have a good amount of uh, specs that you need, and I like to have those just in case. Yeah, well, this boss is easy. You just basically bitch smacker with your sword. But try to get out of the way of the laser, which is harder. It's hard to do. It's hard, easier said than done. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit her a little bit until she maybe shoots another laser at me. That's a pretty cool boss design. She's dead, by the way. Obviously. Very anticlimactic. But that's a cool looking boss design. Though. That's, she looks awesome. Basically a skeleton wearing a dress and you have to basically beat the shower with your sword. Bitch smacker. Alright, so in my opinion, this is when the game starts ra ramping up the difficulty a little bit. I don't like this stage. This stage is bullshit. Because, first of all, the mid-bosses suck. Secondly, the level designs are just there to it's there to kill you. There's plenty of spikes, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That's why I'm vaping my E6. Pacifier. So I don't fucking lose my shit. See, and there's there's something I I, I, I have to bring apart. That, that, that's cool though, it's decapitated, decapitated, but you'll see where the heck comes into play later in the stage. Why do they give you only three ticks of, ticks of health when you have that big life bar? That's never made sense to me in the slightest. But you know, I'm not a game designer. I just play them. I try to take my time on this stage just because there's an enemy can just come out of nowhere and just smack you. It's a it's a pain in the ass. Well, don't get me started on these vines. I don't like them because, first of all, you have these enemies that just keep coming in and coming, in and it, it's it's just to me this is unfair. Yep, happens every fucking time I play this game. Now I got these annoying ass bees. These guys just once again they just keep coming. <laughs> just gotta be as careful as you can. If 
you got bombs, I suggest using them. These dinosaurs are also pain in the ass. Yes, sword upgrade. Give me that shit. Sometimes up there you'll get a either a one up or a health. I can't get it to appear all the time though. I don't know if that was intentional or not. I would like to jump across, please, dickhead. Fucking bees. Oh, fuck off! Oh my god. I mean, I still got continues. I'm alright. I got this Cobra mid boss. I think there's two of them. Annoying fight pattern, too, may I add. Yeah, the bot, like I said, bombs, got them, use them. Especially if you're about to die. Because you just, you'll just get them back. <laughs> Sometimes the saber will repel a bullet. That's nice. See, this guy's moving in a very tricky fight pattern. I'm just being careful. I don't want to get hit. Yep. Doesn't matter, I get hit anyways. About to die, so guess what? We're using a bomb! As you can tell, I hate this fucking stage. This stage is a dick. It just, it's filled with shit. I'm stepping in it. I'm running in it. I'm breathing it. I'm playing it. <laughs> I hate, I hate this fucking stage. Get the fuck away from me. All right. This stage should be called Shit Island. I mean, you can see the Mayan temple in the background. I mean, I, you know, there's some good parallax scrolling here and there, but it, it was, like I said, this is basically the Wish version of Strider, and I hate to say it like that, but you gotta kind of admit that a little bit. Yeah, the blue crosses give you definitely a lot more health. It will go past the three mark, but those, the white ones only give you one, It's and those are more common than the blue ones. Now, remember that head that we severed a few minutes ago? Yep. Now we got Bionic, whatever the fuck you call this thing. <laughs> it looks like Alien Soldier if he got decapitated and put in a new body. And he throws sonic booms from his legs. I thought my slide would do some damage, but apparently not. And now we got a nuke. We're about to die. Ah, game over. Okay, game's over. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Whee! As you can probably tell, this stage is pretty long, isn't it? Yeah, his tail hit me. See, that? that's why I fucking hate this enemy. Of course, the next stage is just as bad, equally bad, if not worse. Okay. We're almost to the boss, though. Let's just... So I'm trying to be at a safe distance so I can... There we go. That works. Okay, here we go. Yep, boss time. Ooh. Watch this shit. All you gotta do is stay under him, do this. And that's all you gotta do. That is the most exaggerated shit sound of a monster in a video game. It almost sounds as pitiful, if not worse, than the dog from Mega Man X. It sounds like a guy there going, ah! Wouldn't you guys agree with me on that? I think so. I mean, that's what it sounds like to me. Just some guy going... Ah. Pretty pitiful, boss. 
I mean, the Mode 7 is nice on it. And right there was probably the worst of it all. Uh, it sounds like he's nutting all over the place. Open cannon! <laughs> Alright, there's that stage. Well, guess what? We have about two stages left. Yeah, already. It's only been a half hour. Now this stage is tough. I don't, It's not as annoying as the last stage, but it does have its moments. It's one of those stages you really gotta be just patient with yourself. No rushing. Rushing will make you lose continues up the wazoo. To, at least with me. I can't speak for everybody, obviously. These guys are weird. It's like their heads are machine guns. They take the machine guns out of their head and they attack you with it. It's weird. See what I mean? <laughs> like, what, what's that about? It's not a bad tune. It's reverbery is all hell, but... Oh, fuck. Who am I fighting against? It's a dickhead again. Oh, wait. Get that. Yes! Okay. Okay, we have a steampunk knight we gotta deal with. Fantastic. I mean, that's... I mean, I, it looks like a boss from that game Steel Empire for the Genesis. Yeah, I know. I was kind of rushing that. I just want him out of the way. He's annoying. I can't wait till we get to the buzz saws. Oh, no, speak of the devil. I hate this part. If you don't know where to go, follow follow the arrow for real. I fucking always hated this part. Because your hitbox is a little on the big side of things. I'm fucked. Alright, I'm using a continue. So it basically got like 15 lives all together. Because 5 lives per continue, yeah. And you can earn more, obviously. I have. But yeah, those fucking bus laws can eat a dick. A bowl of them. Or a truckload. I don't give a fuck either or. Just, they can eat some. Give me that shit. Yes. Oh, with this, <laughs> with this playthrough, I've been getting plenty of those lovely blue boxes of greatness. I would never say that in any in any other normal way whatsoever when it comes to the color blue. <laughs> it can crawl faster too. I forgot to mention that, but I don't want to do that because I'm afraid it'll just it'll fuck me in the long run. Oh yeah, here's Captain Flamo and his bag of tricks. I don't know what I don't know what his name is. I just call him I just call him Captain Flamo or dipshit, dumb shit, fuckface. I don't know. What's whatever word I see best to describe him? Obviously, he takes lessons from Geese Howard, though. I mean, the only thing cool about this character now there's some an idea. Play this character as an unlockable if you beat the game on hard. There we go. They could have done that. He's already an asset in the game. They wouldn't have to take up too much memory. I mean, this game is not very big. I think it's like maybe four, maybe eight megabits. Maybe. Give me that shit. Fuck yeah. They give me a lot. Those guys give them to me. I'll have to remember the next, next time I play through this game. Which I do quite a bit because I do like this game. And another one. Fuck yeah. Fill that shit. Fuck no. <laughs> that was... Fuck you. Oh yeah, I think this is the main boss. He's like a mo... Yeah. That is the most lamest designed robot of all time. I mean, I've seen some shitty designed ones. But this one's pretty bad. You can't really attack him yet. You gotta wait till we get to an open, like an area where he, 
he climbs up. But it's like up here. You'll you'll see what I mean. I am seriously one of the worst people to describe things to people. I'm bad at it. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't. I'm just gonna use up my bombs and then try to attack them, and we'll go from there. Eventually, he'll start, if memory serves me, he starts climbing up and then he starts severing body. Yeah, here we go. This is where, yeah, you gotta sever body parts now. He'll eventually uh, die. I mean, that. I think he starts launching missiles at you, too. Yes! I hate this shit. Okay, we got rid of. Okay, we got rid of that. Yep. God damn it! Those missiles! Bomb time! So you just press the X button, and there you go. The battle is mostly yours. And then just attack him as much as you can. Yeah, he's gone. And I know, look, I know that's cheap, and that's cheesing the game. But given some of the shit that they've pulled on me, like having a full health bar, and making me miss a jump because I was just a couple pixels off. Get fucked. It's like Act Razor. And this legit, legitimately is the final level. This place is no joke, though. It is that's actually a pretty tough place to be. Now, I wish this game was a little longer. I mean, I think most gamers who've played through this game wish probably the same thing. But, I don't know. Maybe you're just trying to make a quick, a quick, a quick dabble into the SNES variety. I don't know. I can't, I'm not a game developer, you know? <laughs> if I was, uh, you know, if I was a game developer during this time, I would try my, god damn it, I just, I just committed suicide. I forgot you could do that. <laughs> Anyways, if I was a game developer during this time frame, I would try to make it either five really long stages or eight medium-sized stages. Yes, NES could pull it off, they did it a lot. But can't always have what you want, as I say. Come on, die now. Thank you. Fuck off. Now, if you're good enough, you can get power ups here. It's not easy, though, I must say. I like the parallax scrolling here, it looks nice. Very appeasing to the eye. You know, like Transformers, more than meets the eye. Well, this is Ron Saber, appeasing to the eye. Yeah, I know, I can't sing tonight. <laughs> Another mid -ball. Oh, it's Dickhead again! <laughs> Legitimately a Dickhead. Get off me! Oh, fuck you. I'm going to use my bombs on you. The quicker you're out of here, the better it will be for everybody. Me and the viewers. Shoo. Oh, yeah. These things. These suck. I don't like these elevators. But with the good news, if you take out the turrets, you get a power-up. Not that easy, though. I wish it was. At least for me, it's not easy. Some some person out there is probably like, Oh, man, what you talking about? Shit's easy as fuck. It's like, well, good for you. You want a cookie? I can bake some. Actually, no, I can't. I don't have... My stove don't work. I can air fry them. There we go. Oh, fuck off! Like I said, not easy. Trying to take a... I don't want to make a jump and then me get knocked out. Well, at least we got a full health bar for the moment. Until they screw me again. Yeah, 
Eh. I think we're fucked. <laughs> no, there we go. Okay, good. I was about to say. Oh, yeah, the circular ones, yeah. Gotta really show off your Ninja Gaiden skills here. Yeah, those things have deadly accuracy, and they will shoot the shit out of you, as you probably can already tell. Dude, just fuck off already. No, that's not the final boss. I wish it was. Um... Oh. Sweet. Oh, yep, our final confrontation with Captain Flamo and this dildo of fire. Well, let's make quick work of him, because we're almost to the final battle. I'm pretty sure for most people this was a rental for them back in the day when this was new. Because, you know, for a curiosity piece, I doubt many people bought it. Because you could beat it in a weekend. I did when I rented it. Of course, I I, I played it on easy because I'm a, I was a bitch back then, and I'm still sometimes a bitch today. I don't give a shit. <laughs> but I'm doing it on normal today to prove I'm not always a bitch. Yeah, this is cheap. As you can probably tell. I mean, it's the final stage. I'll... Hey. Alright. Got this guy, and then the, I believe the final boss after this guy. Orb head needs to die up there. Fuck him. I mean, the middle head's gone. I think we just got these two guys and we're pretty much done with this part. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the hit shit. It hits hard. Sorry, right, we, we got we got continues. We're good. Even though we're in the final boss now, this guy kind of gave me the creeps when I was younger. I'm not gonna lie. If you look at him, to give him give him some pig horns, he looked like Ganon, kinda. Yep, you gotta basically hit his head, and then hit his stomach, or is that his liver? I don't know. Who cares? If that's his heart. They have it not in the right spot. <laughs> yeah, and if you touch it, you die, obviously. Let's see if I can do this part without using my next continue. Oh, that is so cheap. Fuck off, dude. Well, look at that. And Run Saber is completed. Short and sweet, right? I don't hate the game. I know I talk some shit about it, but I like coming back to this from time to time. And this ending is dog shit. It's just, you'll see. It's it's nothing to scoff at. It's got like a nice, nice little ending tune. Very, you know, happy. The battle is one kind of just calm tune that the SNES is known for. Yeah, I know, like I said, I know a lot of shit talking about it, but it's really a fun game. It's, it's fantastic. It's not like the greatest game ever made. No. I, hell no. It's a hidden gem for sure. 
Uh, and I kind of want to expose it. And I hope I, you know, did that. I know my commentary wasn't the greatest either. But, you know, I wanted to provide something for you guys. I kind of wish there was, um, you know, an explanation of what happened to Captain Flamer and his... Or Captain Homo with his flaming dildo. Yeah, there's dude and chick. Watching this little girl run to the left. And there's a reason for that, you'll see. Yep, see? Mommy and Daddy. Jumps into Daddy's arms. Ain't that sweet. There's a lot of animes that end like that, too. Oh, not a lot, but quite a few. This game would have made a cool... I think they could have made an OVA of this game, like, anime-wise. And it's kind of a shame we never got a sequel. I don't even think there was even one planned or announced or anything. Which is kind of a shame, because it's it's good stuff. I, they could have, like, improved the, the combat some, add some new levels, make a better ending, because this one is just shit. I mean, sometimes games are just made and there's no explanation to why they are made. They try to make something that's fun for us to play and then we pay, you know, 60, 70 bucks for them and hope for the best. I mean, that's where you have reviews and whatnot that tell you basically what they think of the game. But you can't always agree with their opinion because some of them are bought and paid for. Especially these days. That's why I don't listen to IGN, GameSpot, or any of those fuckers. I just go by... If there's a demo, I'll play it on Steam. If there isn't a demo, I'll most likely pirate it if it's something I want to play. But I'm not just going to blindly buy it because that's what they want you to do and be disappointed with the end product. So, anyways, that is Run Saber. Very awesome game. Uh, it's definitely a hidden gem on the SNES. And, uh, you know, uh, I would say go out and buy it. Or get yourself an EverDrive or an SD2 SNES and <laughs> do it that way. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this little playthrough, and I hope you guys had fun, um, or enjoyed it. Just thought I'd shoot the shit with you guys and make a video, and hopefully you enjoyed it. If not, let me know. If you did enjoy it, let me know. If you got any questions, let me know. That's what the comment section is for. So I am Forever Retro 82. I am signing off. You guys have a great one. Just remember to keep gaming, keep loving, and keep it retro. And until the next time, take care. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked what you saw and would like to support my channel, please consider being a patron. I'll put your name up with these fine folks who have donated to this channel, and that would be awesome to have you on board. If not, that's entirely up to you. I hope you have a good day and take care.